All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here, check it out. So this is uh, a, a slight discussion I wanted to have with you guys prior to jumping into the long range precision shooting. And it's, this is not a very structured conversation, but it's a conversation. And the one thing we wanna start off on this is uh, why. Why would I want to jump into something called long range precision shooting? Well, I'll tell you the reason why. And it all started with this guy right here. This is the uh, Palmetto State Army 6.5 Creedmoor. This is the uh, semi-automatic sporting rifle edition. <laughs> and it has uh, it just, it, it, it blew me away. The first time I ever shot it, I was using 147 grain ELDs and it put a group together, three round group of about uh, a little about a three eighths inch or just under a half inch. And with that, I took it directly over to the 1,000 yard range, and within a couple shots, I was nailing the 1,000 yard 24 inch disc consistently, which was like, wow, I, I didn't know I could actually do that. Um, so, shooting this a couple more times, and then also getting uh, upgrades in uh, glass. So this is the primary arms, this is a 3 to 18 with the Apollo reticle. I'm going to take both of these rifles out this week. We're going to test out uh, this guy. We've shot this a couple times. Uh, I'm going to use factory ammo in both of these and just kind of play around with it. But the, once I got the taste of being able to hit that 1,000 yard gong, that was all she wrote. I all of a sudden I'm like, all right, I, I want to, I want, I want more. I want something that's a little bigger, better, a little more sharper. This thing is a lot of fun. But all my friends. WTF SoCal, uh, X-Ring are shooting these Accuracy Internationals, the Savages, that are our Ruger Precision Rifles. Uh, this thing, the MPA, the Master Masterpiece Precision Rifle. Um, that's that's where I wanted to go. And one of the things that you guys will find is that the bigger, longer, more precise the bigger the money and guys i will tell you this right now this is a rabbit hole that i never thought i would get into and you, you, the rifle is just one part of it the optics is just one part of it you've got things like this guy right here uh you've got uh bullet comparators uh these kind of things going on. I mean, and all this stuff, all of a sudden I found out, well, you, you, you've you got it, but now in order to really be good at it, you've got to start reloading your own ammo. And that's another rabbit hole that is just unbelievable. I, I couldn't, I, I, I was like, getting into this thing, I, I was excited with this. Uh, I got into the bolt gun, and we'll go through the whole series now. I know that Rex... Uh, Tower Source Rex did a really incredible series called Sniper 101. This is not Sniper 101. This is Beginner 101. And let me go down this rabbit hole. And I've already made a few mistakes. I've purchased some things that I probably shouldn't have purchased and just kind of jumped on it. I'm finding out about defiling, uh, decoppering barrels, uh, different solutions in order to use that. That's what I'm doing is I'm decoppering and defiling this barrel right here so we can go ahead and bring it back in. I may run a, a, something through this barrel during maybe next week, but it is a, an amazing thing. So let's talk about this. What are we going to discuss in this series? This is part one, the, the why, and this is it. I, I caught the bug. And if you're going to get into it, you're going to find that 5.56, five, 6.5 six, uh, six, Grindle, that's a great round, but you really want to go far. We're talking 6.5 Creedmoor, 300 Win Mag, 338, maybe even 50 cal down the road, and that's not where I'm going. I settled for a 6.5 Creedmoor. That's as much rifle as I will ever need. I don't know a lot of places where you're going to be able to shoot past 1,700, 1,800 yards, and this is a, this rifle right here will do that all day long. So. What's this series going to contain? Well, we're talking about the whys. We got the bug. We're going to talk about rifle, rifle selection, uh, buying used versus new. I think that's important. I bought this rifle used. It's more rifle than I could have afforded if I tried to buy it new. Uh, we're going to talk about optic selection, uh, why, what, when, where, and how. Uh, 
We're going to talk about reticles. We're going to be talking about twist rates. We're going to talk about uh, reloading, what's involved in that. And we're going to incorporate a lot of assets for that whole series from X-Ray, X-Ring. <laughs> uh, uh, Dimitri is going to help out with uh, from Primary Arms, which is just so exciting. Uh, then we're going to talk about different accessories you're going to need. You're going to need bags. You're going to need shooting mats. You're going to need spotting scopes. You're going to need all these things. Muzzle brakes. Everything from the aspect from day one. And they're not going to come in series or anything else like this, but you'll see it. This is part one. Part two, we'll be talking about rifle selection. Uh, a lot of people I know, they like the Savage, uh, the uh, RPR. Uh, we've got Christensen. You've got AI, you've got Masterpiece, and there's a bunch more out there. I've also got a gentleman, uh, Mr. Carpenter, who uh, lives up there in Lancaster. I'm going to ask him a couple things. We're going to sit down and interview him. So it's going to be a really cool series. It's not going to be from the super advanced level, but it's going to be a level from the beginner aspect. I'm going to be asking the questions that I need to know. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're also going to be starting a uh, reloading series, live chats. Uh, for precision rifles, I never knew about bumping the shoulders. I didn't know you needed a damn bushing for a neck sizing die. All these things. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys why did I get into it. Because I got a 6.5 gas gun. And I found out I could ring steel consistently at 1,000 yards. And next thing you know, I was bit. And that's it. If you like this and you want to have some questions or you have some things that you'd like to see covered in the series, I'm open. Uh, if This is a, a journey that I want to do together. So we've already taken this rifle out to Vegas. We've hit a thousand yards plus a mile with it. But the idea is to, oh, I mean, go, yeah, we've got to talk about this. You've got the Kestrel, you've got Straylock. There's all kinds of things that we're going to be doing down the road that are going to be pertinent to what's involved and what's required to set up at the range, get your environmentals, find out what your wind is, establish your dope, and from a cold bore, hit like a 10 or 12 inch target at a thousand yards. I, my challenge is to do a golf ball. X-Ring has uh, got, got that one. He don't understand though. I'm gonna, I got this inflatable golf ball. It's about this big. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, that's the series. This is the why I got into it. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to be talking about rifles. So it'll be a lot of fun. And I'm going to take both of these out to the range this week and uh, have a lot of fun. This has got the Athena reticle in it. This is the primary arms platinum. If you guys want some more information on it, go to uh, kb32tac.com. Also, this is the 3 to 18 with the Apollo reticle set up for the 6.5 Creedmoor, which is, boys and girls, this is a BDC. And you can knock the socks off of anything out to a thousand yards without without even thinking. We'll we'll do some research on this guy, and a range review. This guy right here, it's gonna be awesome. Scoboy Boy Thirty Two. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please don't hesitate in leaving any comments or questions down in these uh, comment section down below. And I hope you enjoy this series. Uh, I've asked that X Ring, if you're still on board with this video right now, please go to X Ring. Uh, he is one of my mentors in this long range distance stuff. He and I kind of went over uh, a bunch of stuff. That's how many, I mean, I've run through a whole half bag of patches just trying to get the copper and defouling out of this thing. But we're going to have a lot of fun, and he's going to do a video. I asked him to do a video, as a matter of fact. Why did you get into long-range shooting? Because he's old school. He's back in the day when you ran your chart, you ran your graph, you had to shoot at different distances and di different temperatures, and you knew what's going on. I'm going to stop talking about it. God bless the red, white, and blue. God bless those men, women, in uniform that are off in the foreign lands trying to protect us from the evil empire of sickness. Uh, God bless the, the patriots in our country who are fighting against the weak and the lazy. God bless America. That's all I got to say. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the series. This is going to be a lot of fun. Skittleboy32, I am out.